to take you on a virtual trip west to Vail Valley where we find Walking Mountain Science Center. It's an incredible place where right now they have virtual programs for people all ages, whether it's the littlest to the oldest in your family. So let's go ahead and experience one of those programs right now. Very elevated and very fun. Welcome back, Scott. We love having you guys on the show and learning each week with Walking Mountains. But before we get into this week's demonstration, fall is upon us. We're getting back to school. So let's talk about some of these things and activities that you guys have and that you're offering this fall. Yeah, so this fall is a busy time for us. The leaves are changing colors and everyone enjoys that. So we're offering several backcountry hikes every week that get you out into the golden aspens here in the mountains. And then here at the centers, we are still offering uh, free educational programming every day in the form of an hour long nature walk. So come bring the family and explore our beautiful campus here in Avon. Such a great way to reconnect with nature before we have to hit the books. Well, thank you so much, Scott. So now let's go ahead and get into this week's activity. We're so excited to see what you have for us. Yeah, this is a great experiment for your preschool aged kids at home. And this is a, a fun way to do a little chemistry and make a little art. So we're gonna be making some fizzy rainbows today and I'll go through our materials list here. What you need is some baking soda. We need some white vinegar, a little squirt bottle or a squeeze bottle, some food coloring of your choice. And what we're gonna do is simply spread out this baking soda onto a cookie sheet so that we get a nice even layer all the way across. Then we're gonna take our vinegar, pour it into one of these little mixing bottles, add our food coloring and then shake away until we get a nice blue or yellow or even red colored vinegar. Now this is where the fun happens. So you can have your little ones, grab one of these squirt bottles and then we're just gonna spray it onto this vinegar or onto the baking soda. And what it does is it fizzes up and bubbles, and it also leaves a wonderful colorful trace behind. So you could draw, or you could just do some abstract art. Preschoolers are very good at abstract art. And so you can play with this for hours as it fizzes away. And if you wanna talk a little bit about chemical reactions, this is a great way to introduce the young ones to chemistry as well. This actually, I want to say, is one of my favorites. It's so cool and it's so fun to do, like you said, with the little ones. So if parents at home want to know what they need and uh, how to do this, along with maybe any other activities, where should we go? Yeah, so if you're looking for information on preschool activities, you want to visit WalkingMountains.org. And we've got a lot of great activities for the little ones all the way through your high school level uh, kids. Awesome. Scott, thank you again for another fizzing good time. We really appreciate it. And uh, we can't wait to have you back here on Coco. Explore Walking Mountain Science Center for unique activities, programs, and science projects you can do at home. For the full list, visit their website, walkingmountains.org.